What's up everybody? This is Travis from DIY Auto and today we're going to be installing an Enon 10.1 inch head unit. Stay tuned. So let's get this unboxed. It's actually a really big box. So we got... It's open. Right, so this looks like the wiring harness and some hardware. Comes with a little tool. A warranty card, it looks like. Yep. User manual. So let's pull out the big guns here. Oh, a lot more wiring, harnesses, all right. So here's the amp and the actual head unit, all the brains, very, very big. And then the biggest screen I could find on the market, 10.1 inches, Woo, look at that, wow, that is huge, all right. Okay, so I was gonna show you guys all of the wiring and how to wire it all up, but honestly, I didn't have the right harness, so I just had to cut the wires and solder them all myself. Um, but it's very, very easy to set up. I had no problem getting all the wiring done. Um, so now let's jump into the review. I've been using it for about a week. I still don't know how to do everything, but I'll kind of show you the things and how fast it is and what you can do on it. So this is the head unit all installed in my 2006 Acura TL. It's very, very large. Um, so first we're going to see how long it takes to boot up. So I've got my stopwatch here. I'm going to get the car started up here. All right, we'll stop it. So just a little over 30 seconds. <clears throat> so what I did is you can go to settings here and then you go car infotainment, common, and you can change your standby time here. So I have it to 20 minutes. So basically what that does is when you turn your car off, like if you're going to a gas station or a store really quick, it won't have to boot up 
if you come back in the 20 minute mark or you could do up to 60 minutes you could do no time um, whatever works best for you um, I just keep it at 20 minutes and you can also change your boot logo uh, the password should be five six seven eight for every single one and that'll give you a list of all the different boot logos and I obviously just chose the Acura for now but you can also search um, if you're connected to Wi-Fi and you can kind of choose whichever one you'd like. I just have it at Acura right now. Um, so what so what I've noticed, it's very, very easy to use. There's no lag, there's no, um, it's very responsive for the touch. I mostly use this for Bluetooth music. So you can see it's got the, it's playing right now, but you can go to Bluetooth here and then you can do all your hands-free calling. Uh, you can, and then music's gonna be down here at the bottom. You can skip, no problem at all. Uh, it's super, super easy, very responsive. And the uh, internal amp is really, really good. I believe it's about 45 watts. And then I'll also, I, I use the Torque app. <clears throat> so you can get this all set up. You will have to buy an OBD2 uh, adapter. So it takes a little bit to connect, but then you can kind of adjust all the different settings you want, everything that's not gonna be up on your uh, standard Acura TL dash. You can see I have an exact coolant, my intake temperature, uh, the volts, my battery, and my exact revs. Um, this also has complete access to all different kinds of, you can just search the internet, go on YouTube, and you can do all different kinds of things. <clears throat> this also has backup camera, and all those features as well. This is basically like a tablet that's in your car. Um, you can just do the roaming on your phone or the Wi-Fi hotspot and you have access to all these different kind of things. So after a week of using this uh, head unit from Enon, I would have to say this is definitely by far the best head unit that I have ever used. Um, and the only thing that I would say is it doesn't have Apple CarPlay. It is an Android device, so it's a little bit tricky. Still does Android Auto. You can still Bluetooth your phone. You can connect it through USB, and that works. I'm sure there's a way you can connect it with HDMI or anything like that, but I just didn't want to get deep in that. Um, but yes, I highly, highly, highly recommend you get this. It's super easy to install, super easy to wire up. Uh, there's tons of different features that I haven't even dove into. I've only been using it for probably about a week. If I run into anything, I'll go ahead and add it to the description. Thank you so much for watching DOI Auto. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We're almost at 500 and it'd be so amazing if we could hit 500 after this video. Um, and we just dropped our uh, merch line. So anything that's made off of this merch will go straight into the next builds and content and stuff for you guys. So let me know in the comments below what you want to see me do next. Bye guys.